Before showing you how to shake your cameras, I need to talk a little about the noise position. So I will create a box like so and go to the motion panel and then click on position, sign controller and click on noise position. If I hit the play button, you can see we added noise to the box, but you can see I cannot move the box. That means I cannot animate it as well and it will like the object in the center. So I will reset everything to default and then assign a position list, expand it, click on available and then add the noise position. Here you can see I can move it without a problem. So let's check the parameters. If you accidentally close this window, you can click on noise position and reopen it. So let's hit the play button. You can play it by clicking here or using the shortcut. So let's first soften the noise by reducing the frequency. Fractal noise will make your noise noisier, so if you want more noise, enable this one. You can change the strength by changing these numbers. Let's get practical by adding the noise to the camera. Here I have a camera with a simple movement animation. So I grab the camera, go to the motion, and then first add a position list. Click on available, add a noise position. So first reduce the frequency, disable the fractal, reduce the strengths. That's okay. Let's add the noise to the camera target as well. So grab the target and do the same. And let's see. That's fine. I usually don't add the noise directly to the camera because it may cause issues when animating the camera in the future. So instead of adding the noise directly to the camera, I will create a box and then link the camera to the box. So first I will add the same noise to the box and then remove the previous noise from the camera and camera target. Right now we have the shot without the noise. And then grab the camera and the camera target go to the animation, constraint, link constraint and link it to the box. And you can see the effect is applied to the camera. The advantage of using this method is I can detach the camera easily from the noise in a specific frame. For example, in frame 50, I want to remove the noise from the camera. So I can easily do it by let's say link it to the world and from frame 0 to 50 it will be the camera with the noise and after that we will have no shaken movement in the camera. I will also grab the camera target at frame 50 and link it to the world or maybe you can link it to another object. If you render the animation with default settings you will end up with this result with flickers. Since we are rendering an animation with just camera movement, we can save the UHD cache settings. So there is no need to repeat that calculation from scratch for each and every frame. The secondary solver is set to UHD cache. You can also use the 4K cache, but I've tested and it was slower, so I decided to stick with the UHD cache. Alright, go to the UHD cache settings, change it from still frame to animation. And for the first time, you need to calculate from scratch and save it to a file. Here you can change the location, give it a name, 
and click on save, remember, clicking on save won't save anything. The moment you hit the render button after the pre-computation is finished, it will be saved on location. All right, go to the scene and there is no need for our image to be completely rendered. So I change the time limit to one second and hit the render. All right, now I can change it to load from file and it will be automatically chosen. And then go back to scene and change the noise limit to 2% since people cannot zoom in and see some noises and say, ha, gotcha. So that would be enough. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more videos about 3ds Max and rendering, Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and I will see you in the next one.